This video covers Neptune R900 and R450 integrated and pit MIUs. Observe all safety checks before and during each installation. Safety is our number one priority. First take the antenna and put it through the lid. Place the RF coaxial cable through the lid. Once the antenna is in place, put the plastic nut on and secure the antenna to the lid. This will prevent a trip hazard or the antenna coming out and potentially getting damaged. Next, take the large channel lock pliers and tighten the nut. This concludes this part of the installation. Now we are going to prep the RF cable. Place a dab of Novogard gel into the F connector to help minimize moisture intrusion. Next, put some Novogard gel onto the washer. Apply the washer over the connector on the MIU and then put the F connector onto the MIU. Hand start the connector, tighten the connector, wrench tight, then use a 20 inch pounds torque wrench to verify. Once this step is complete, put all the remaining Novogard gel into the bayonet. Push the bayonet in tight and then turn to the right to lock it in place. Then tighten the compression nut by hand. This completes this portion of the installation. Proper installation of Novogard and tightness of the F connector are crucial to a good install. Place the integrated MIU onto the meter and use a seal pin to secure it into place. This completes the physical installation of an integrated MIU. If installing a standalone MIU, first splice the register to the MIU. To splice, remove 1.5 inches of jacket insulation from the wire on both devices. Do not remove any insulation from the individual wires. Once complete, crimp the wires together, green to green, black to black, and red to red. The kit comes with scotch locks. Insert wires into scotch locks with a clear side up. This makes it easier to see when the wire has gone all the way through and bottomed out in the scotch lock. Once the wires are in place, use the UR crimping pliers to crimp it together. Do not use needle nose pliers as they might damage the scotch lock. Make sure some gel extrudes from the bottom of the connector. Use this same process with all three pairs of wires. Upon completion of this step, place the wires into the splice tube, two down and one up, then lock into place. The splice tube helps protect the connection from water when the pit becomes flooded. This completes this part of the connection. If needed, install the antenna in the same manner as we did with the integrated unit. For an R450 integrated unit installation, Swipe the top corner with a minimum of 6 pound magnet force magnet, starting at the bottom going upward. For a standalone MIU, swipe in a clockwise direction on the top left corner, where it says Neptune. Make sure you use a minimum of 6 pound magnet force magnet. If using an FST to verify a proper R450 installation, make sure the FST has been started and is listening. Wait up to 45 seconds for the information on the installation. It will tell you which collector received the signal, what the signal strength was, and the status of the installation. Use the Ranger or a belt clip for R900 integrated units and pit units. Type the MIU number just installed into the Ranger. Then hit the test button. The device will start listening for the radio. Here we can see that the radio is transmitting correctly 
So we are done with the installation. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please contact your Neptune representative or Neptune customer support.